Okay. Hello there. Been away for a while. Working. I believe uh, it was the last weekend and I had to work the whole weekend. And it was a long work week, I tell you. So I've been very busy. Anyway, um, I'm thinking that we are seeing the end of the industrial age. Capitalism could never last because we're, it's destroying the face of the planet and eventually it's going to either destroy itself or it's going to have to be overturned or just naturally dissolve away like it appears to be doing. Um, there's a lot of theories as to why the world economy seems to be collapsing but maybe it was just meant to be, maybe it was fated to happen. Uh, at any rate, I think we deserve a lot better and I know that this transition, the collapse of the industrial age is going to be scary, it's going to be difficult, it may even be devastating in some some ways or in, to some places to some people, but I think it has to come to an end and we are going to see a new age. There's a lot of talk about a new age and partly it's common sense and the industrial age has to come to an end and I think we're going to witness the collapse of the industrial age and hopefully the beginning of a new and hopefully better age. Um, fortunately I'm not a psychic and I don't have any inside information and any, you know, what goes on politically behind the scenes. I don't really know what the heck's going to happen. Um, it's like everyone else kind of going along for the ride and hoping that it all turns out good. Um, anyway, uh, I want to read from Wikipedia. Capitalism is an economic and social system in which trade and industry are privately controlled instead of public ownership for profit instead of meeting human needs. The means of production, also known as capital, are owned, operated, and traded for the purpose of generating profits by private individuals either singly or jointly. In a capitalist system, also known as a market economy, investments, distribution, income, production, pricing, and supply of goods, commodities, and services are determined by voluntary private decisions. A distinguishing feature of capitalism is that each person owns his or her own labor and is therefore allowed to sell the use of it to employers. In other words, you're not a slave. You're free to leave one job and go to another. In a capitalist state, Private rights and property relations are protected by the rule of law of a limited regulatory framework. In a capitalist state, legislative action is confined to defining and enforcing the basic rules of the market, although the government may provide some public goods and infrastructure. In other words, the government is secondary to the corporate powers. The corporate system rules over the governmental system. That's on Wikipedia and the defini their definition of capitalism. And we all know here in North America we are living in capitalist societies. Okay. Um, work for owner's profit. Yes. We all, we the people, work for profit. And we never see a dime of that profit, really. That profit goes to the owners and shareholders. We don't see it. We get peanuts. We may get like a 25 cent raise, you know, after working very hard and deserving to earn much more than that, but we're never given, um, we can be encouraged to buy shares sometimes, which is good. And if you think your company, you know, the value may actually go up, which right now I don't know, but. Uh, that might be a good idea, but I mean, you're not given anything that you don't work very, very hard for. You earn hard for every cent that you make. Anyway, it's not a fair system, as I've gone to, you know, gone into in the past. It's spiritually wrong for us, for everyone. I mean, whether you're a boss, you know, playing the role of a fascist, or you're a, a human being uh, who's playing the role of a slave, um, it's all role playing. It's not who we really are. It's destructive. And it, like I say, it has to come to an end. Um, so, right now the United States is very stretched very thin between war efforts and illegal immigration. The illegal immigration is not the destruction of the United States, maybe, but it is a contributing factor. 
letting in people who break into your country illegally. That would be like coming home one day and finding people broken into your home. And then you say, okay, well, you can stay here, I guess. And then you bring more people and more people, and then they demand more and more from you. Eventually, you just can't afford it. And the United States cannot afford to let these illegals have the jobs that they really need in some places in the United States. And <laughs> um, they can't afford to give them free legal um, care, medical care. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, perhaps this is all transition into a, kind of some kind of global economy. Whatever happens, I hope it happens naturally. And uh, we don't let political manipulators um, try to control the changes. If we're going to have a new age, it, sh it should be better than what we have now. Um, we need to say no to system and say yes to uh, going back to nature and living with the land again. Farming is hard work. Um, I've never worked with animals that much, but I have worked with a um, vegetable garden. Um, and it's hard work, but hey, you're free. You've got no boss over you telling you how to do everything, telling you when and when not to, telling you to work a short day or a long day. It's up to you. You're your own boss. And the weather is a factor, but it, <laughs> it is hard work, though. But I think we need to go back to that, back to the land, and find who we are again. And... Um, turn away from the system. It doesn't work. I don't have the time to go into these quotes that I wanted to read. I just don't. But there are a bunch of quotes that I wanted to read from Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper as an example of the kind of fascist mind that has been leading us. He's supposed to be a servant of the Canadian people and he acts as a leader. Um, it's ridiculous. He refers to bilingualism as a religion. Uh, yeah, literally. Bilingualism is the god that failed. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, extremist views. He said a number of things about the French ca Canadians here that are not appropriate. Anyway, like I say, I don't have time to go into all this. Um, referring to a, so referring to a minister being called an idiot. It was probably not an appropriate term, but we support the war effort and believe we should be supporting our troops and our allies and be there with them doing everything necessary to win. Um, on the justification of the war, it wasn't related to finding any particular weapon of mass destruction. It was the removing of a regime that was hostile that clearly had the in intention of constructing weapons systems. I think, frankly, that everybody knew that the post-war situation was probably going to be more difficult than the war itself. Canada remains alienated from its allies, shut off of the reconstruction process to some degree, unable to influence events. There is no upside to the position Canada took. We influence the world mostly in a positive way, and apparently that's not the, the way that Harper wants us to be an influence. I don't know all the facts on Iraq, but I think we should work closely with the Americans. Sounds like something Bush would say. I don't know what we're doing, but we should do it anyway. Human rights commissions, as they are evolving, are an attack on our fundamental freedoms and the basic existence of a democratic society. It is, in fact, total terrorism. I find this very scary stuff. Yes, this is our Canadian Prime Minister talking, letting us know that he is afraid of human rights organizations. Lovely. I've gone into him before. I'm just forever pissed off at this guy. There's no way he could get in a third time, I mean, unless there's a major election fraud going on. Anyway, that's the mind of, of fascism. That's the mind of capitalism. The only rule of business is progress. If you get screwed, that's business. Um, we don't need that. We need culturalism, so to speak. We need to work together as, as cultures. Maybe, uh, hopefully, eventually a global culture, but certainly as cultures. Um, capitalism, I think, is coming to an end, and I'm not going to miss it.